I think that the, the most interesting thing that's happened in the technology of laryngoscopy is really the hyperangulated blade. And that's because it leverages the full potential of putting a camera on the end of the blade. With video laryngoscopy, the idea of having to push or flatten curves, anatomic curves, to get the view you want are no longer relevant. The hyperangulated blade follows the complete line of the first and primary curve of the oropharynx up to the trachea and allows you to get that great view. The challenge with the hyperangulated blade is not navigating that primary curve of the patient's oropharynx to the trachea, but when you get to the inflection point of the trachea and then the trachea starts to curve downward, and so what happens is, is when this tube comes up, it's now hitting the anterior trachea and you're going to have to be able to soften it or rotate it to be able to pass it into place. So what this requires is a different piece of equipment, the rigid stylet, and it requires an extra set of skills that you'll need to be able to learn to soften the tube, retract the stylet, and then drop the tube 90 degrees so that you can get it off the anterior tracheal wall and deliver it to the trachea. So there